Welcome back to the five minute reset, where we step away from the distractions and the cares of life back into the awareness of the presence of God. We're going to encounter the Prince of Peace today. I'm going to read um, an excerpt from the Song of Songs and lead you into a place of quiet reflection with Jesus. And when this is over, I hope that you'll stay quiet with the Lord even after I'm done. Um, If this channel is helpful, it would mean so much to me if you would consider liking the video, commenting on it, subscribing, sharing, all of those things. So let's start right now by taking slow, deep breaths at a rhythm that feels best for you. Tuning all of our senses to the awareness of God's Spirit within. Song of Songs, Chapter 3. I encourage you to sit back and let the anointing on this scripture lead you into the presence of God. Night after night, I'm tossing and turning on my bed of travail. Why did I let him go from me? How my heart now aches for him, but he is nowhere to be found. Isn't that how we feel sometimes when we're dry, when we're distracted? He seems to be nowhere to be found. But the Shulamite continues, so I must rise in search of him. And that's what you're doing right now. By slowing down, turning your heart to him, you are rising. You're letting your heart rise to him, even if it feels weak. It's just a simple movement of desire toward him. And he knows that. And he recognizes that. She says, so I must rise in search of him, looking throughout the city, seeking until I find him. That's the key. That while we have so many questions, so many things in our heart, that we're seeking answers for. What changes us the most, even when we have something specific in our heart, is seeking Him. Finding Him. Because when you find the quiet of His presence, you will find everything else you need. She continues, Even if I have to roam through every street, nothing will keep me from my search. Where is he, my soul's true love? He is nowhere to be found. Then I encountered the overseers as they encircled the city. So I asked them, have you found him? My heart's true love? Just as I moved past them, I encountered him. That is the key. It's important to have spiritual family, leaders, mentors, pastors. But what you need the most, what we need the most, is to encounter Jesus. We have to go beyond not just relationships, not just the people in our lives, but we must move past these distracting thoughts. Let me read that part of the verse to you again. And I encourage you, ponder it. Maybe when this is over, talk to Jesus about it. She says, So I asked them, 
Have you found him, my heart's true love? Just as I moved past them, I encountered him. What is it that you must move past today? Is it the incessant thoughts? Is it the fears? It isn't enough to look to others to say, hey, have you found my heart's true love? What matters is that you find your heart's true love. And I want to remind you that he wants you to be with him even more than you do. And so as I say so often, give yourself permission to stop thinking about whatever it is that has been on your mind and and that you've been stressed over. It doesn't mean that it isn't important. But in order for you to find him for yourself, to encounter him, to seek him and find him, you must let go. You must allow yourself to look at him, to be with him. This matters more than anything. And this is the one thing, being with him, fully aware of him more than anything else, This is the one thing that will change you more than anything. It will strip away your stress. It will retrain you in how to respond to difficulties when it comes. Practicing stillness is a key and it is vital. Learning to surrender starts in prayer and it changes you. I'd love to share more with you about how you can tap into this quiet place, different um, exercises, or uh, I don't even know if I should call them exercises, but ways that you can settle your heart, settle your mind, and tune into the presence of God. And if you'd like to know how to do that, you can go to my website. There's loads of free stuff on there, but what I'm specifically referring to is Encountering God Contemplative Workshop. And if you look in the show notes of this episode right here, this this YouTube video, you will find a discount code that you can use on the workshop. So I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I hope you will stay here in the quiet of His presence a while longer.